Welcome back to the Nevius Network, where we decode the future of the Nevius Group, one powerhouse at a time. And today, we're going full throttle into one of the most underrated AI plays of this decade, Teloka. Never heard of it? Well, Jeff Bezos has, and he just invested. So let's unpack why one of the richest men on the planet is quietly backing this data labeling machine and why you, the retail investor, should be paying close attention. Okay, let's break this down. What is data labeling and why is it the lifeblood of artificial intelligence? Imagine trying to teach a robot to recognize a cat. You can't just throw 10,000 cat pictures at it and say, good luck. You need humans to manually go in, tag every cat image, label the ears, the whiskers, the paws, and maybe even note the breed. This process, repeated across millions of images, audio clips, and text snippets, is called data labeling. Without it, AI is just guesswork. With the labeling, AI can actually learn. So this is where Teloka comes in. They've built a massive crowdsourcing platform with over 15 million human workers called Talokas. They're spread across more than 100 countries. Let's take a step back. How does Taloka get all of this data labeled at scale? The answer is simple, crowdsourcing. Crowdsourcing is when a company outsources small tasks like labeling an image or transcribing audio to a large group of people, usually via the internet. So think of it like Uber, but instead of driving passengers, people are completing digital micro tasks from home. This lets companies like Taloka tap into a global talent pool 24 seven. Thousands of people are working in parallel on tiny pieces of the big AI puzzle. And it's incredibly efficient. Need to label 500,000 medical images? Done. Want 100,000 audio clips translated from Swahili to English? Taloka already has someone in Kenya doing it. That's the beauty of crowdsourcing. Massive scale, fast turnaround and low overhead. And that's the engine that Teloka runs on. Companies send Teloka raw data. Their global workforce then tags, annotates, transcribes and validates that data at scale in multiple languages with human level accuracy. And this isn't just for cat pics. Teloka's data powers everything from self-driving cars, voice assistants like Alexa or Siri, healthcare diagnostics, retail product recommendations, chatbots and LLMs like ChatGPT. Look, AI is a gold rush. Every tech company is racing to build their own LLM or private GPT, but they all hit the same bottleneck. They need clean, reliable training data. And Taloka, they're selling the shovels, quietly, effectively, globally. Now here's where things get interesting. Jeff Bezos recently backed Taloka through his fund, Bezos Expeditions. This isn't a meme investment. Bezos understands infrastructure and Taloka is foundational to the AI revolution. His bet confirms what we've been saying. Taloka is a sleeping giant. Let's run the numbers. Taloka generated $36.9 million in revenue in 2023. That's up 46% year over year. They're already cash flow positive with an efficient model that scales with global labor and without burning venture capital money like other AI startups. So unlike competitors, Taloka has a lean scalable platform backed by Nebius Tech and now Bezos Dollars. So what's next? What are the future catalysts for Taloka? Firstly, enterprise custom AI companies want private GPTs with secure data. Taloka's labeling as a service is the gateway. And for self-driving cars, massive data is needed for real world driving models. Taloka has tools to annotate real time driving videos. Number three, the emerging market scale up. So expanding into Latin America, India, Africa, where labor is cost efficient and internet access is booming. And a side note, if you're wondering how places like India and Africa are gonna boom with the internet, then you may want to look into an up and coming beast of a company called AST Space Mobile. If you haven't already heard about them, then I'm sure you will in the near future. Shout out to the space mob. Anyway, back to Taloka. Platform as a service model, so Taloka are quietly building out software as a service style tools for clients to manage labeling workflows, which will lead to recurring revenue and high margins. Taloka isn't sexy like an AI chatbot. It's not flashy like Nvidia chips, 
but it's essential plumbing for the entire system. If you believe AI will continue to explode, from chatbots to robo-taxis, then platforms like Taloka are where the smart money goes. And Jeff Bezos, he's already beat you to it. Taloka may be one of the most underappreciated assets inside of the Nebius group, but not for long. If you're building a thesis around AI infrastructure, this one deserves a spot on your watch list. Drop your thoughts down below. Is Taloka a future IPO target, a spin-off gem, or a hidden powerhouse that'll make Nebius Group a 10 bagger? Let's talk. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned to the Nebius Network.